Right guys, how we doing? Welcome back to day number four. I'm keeping you guys updated on uh, you know exactly where I'm at, uh, how, how we're tracking. This is day four of my attempt to finish this series in eight days. Today we continue down the list. We've got Jonathan Allen, defensive tackle for the Washington Commanders, and he comes in at number 52 on the list. I think at this point, I believe there's been 80 players released. Tomorrow they're going to be doing from 20 down to a, uh, down to 11 and then on July that uh, sorry on August the 8th I think they will be dropping the top 10. So if I can stay focused, if I can somehow some way keep trucking, keep going. I've got uh, I've got an All Blacks match to go to tomorrow actually. I'm going down to Dunedin with my mate Tim and we're going to stay the night down there. Uh, go to the All Blacks match, only the second match I've been to in my entire life, so I can't wait to do that. But, um, you know, that'll throw us off a bit. That'll throw a spanner in the works, you could say. But, uh, you know, all you can do is get back on the horse and crack on. And that's what we're going to do today. So, in the fashion that we've been uh, making these videos previously, I'm going to first have a look at his Wikipedia, just briefly. Then I'm going to watch the video, and then we're going to place him in a rugby team. Being that he's defensive tackle, unless he's, like, ridiculously quick for his size, um, you know, I'd love to put a big man like that on the wing, but... Uh, Look, I, I, I believe he'd be well suited to uh, the forward pack, but all of that and more will be revealed. First and foremost, let's have a look at his Wikipedia. Jonathan Allen, born January 16th, 1995, is an American football defensive tackle for the Washington Commanders. Um, looks as if he's played his whole entire career there. Got picked up in the first round of the 2017 draft with pick number 17. Played college football at Alabama for four years from 2013 to 2016. He's a two-time pro bowler, 2021 and 2022. So there's no uh, surprises that he's on the list. He was born on January the 16th, 1995. He's 28 years of age, six foot three and 300 pounds. Now that screams a prop in the game of rugby. 300 pounds at six foot three. Rather than being like six foot five or six foot six that a lot of these linemen are, um, just that little bit shorter, that little bit stockier. Not that he looks stocky. Um, he distributes the the weight relatively well, from what I can see. But um, yeah, I'm going to say early days he'd be he'd be suited to be a prop. All of that and more will be revealed. It's not as if he's got crazy speed. Five five seconds flat for the forty yard dash. Thirty inches in the vertical. Nine foot on the broad jump and twenty one reps on the bench press. He's played six seasons, eighty five total games, three hundred and twenty nine combined tackles, one hundred and ninety five solo, one hundred and thirty four assisted, thirty three and a half sacks. Now that's where I've heard his name before. Doesn't mind a sack every now and then. Last year he got two forced fumbles, three passes deflected, one interception for one yard. Well, as far as his highlights are concerned, I hope we see the interception, and uh, I would predict they're going to make some mention of his sack count, but let's get into it. It's fourth down and inches here. Tell me you're 300 pounds without telling me you're 300 pounds. John is just an absolute dog. Watch the hands of Jonathan Allen. Look at him strike upwards. Just lift up Matthews into the backfield. That is two beasts going at it. Man, he got to earn some type of respect, bro. Well, he's got it. And for our fellow linemen out there, you, you would have you would have loved that that um that Let clash. Me lie, man, I think the biggest accomplishment there he is off the field that a player can get is being voted as one of the best in the league by his peers. There's no game plan for hitting somebody in the Absolutely. mouth. Absolutely. He speaks well, actually. He speaks really well. Great rush by Jonathan Allen. John Allen off the edge, knocked it out of his hands. Everybody had high expectations for him because they know how talented he was. But I think he surpassed everybody's expectation. He's playing at a really, really high level. John Allen, great arm over move. He's got a nice spin, uh, swipe move. It all seems too easy. 100%. 100%. He's a run stopper. He's a game changer. It's almost impossible to run the ball on him. Okay, we've seen a hell of a lot of uh, tackles on the running back. Not so many sacks the yet. The impact that he has on the game. It seems like every single play is in the backfield, clogging up holes, making his presence felt. Just the consistency in which he plays with. Whether it's practice or games, he's gonna be running to the football. A sack for Allen! Well, that was one set. <laughs> I 
he's just he just loves being in the trenches the leader, the highest paid dude in the room doing that it sets a precedent for everybody else to follow behind the highest paid dude in the room well let's confirm July 27th, 2021, he signed a four-year contract extension worth $72 million. Not prior to this season, but prior to the last season. I'm going to ask y'all to do one thing. Play out of your damn mind today. Are you really going to talk back to that? Yeah, as we call him, he's going to give us that nice... What is it? Damn mind today. Yeah, as we call him, he's going to give us that nice little pre-game speech. Get us fired up and Captain pumped up. Captain of the defense. When I go there tonight, I'm playing for you. I'm playing for you. I'm playing for you. I want blood. I take it personal. You could call Jonathan mm. Allen the mailman. 300 pounds, and he, it doesn't look like there's a fucking ounce of fat on him. Look at the triceps. Look at the definition. Because he always delivers. But that name's already taken. How about the whale man? Because Allen is bringing the hump back. He has that favorite hump move he loves to do. He'll like to work you outside and hump. He does that move a lot, man. I feel like that's his signature move. And he gets to the quarterback a lot with that. Trying to you know what he's going to do? You know he's going to throw that underhook. He's going to grab that guard, whoever in front of him. He's just going to walk him back. John Allen up in his face. He's got him again. A hump is like a bear hug. Belly to belly. Not where an offensive lineman wants to be. Damn, yeah, that is. Look look at the underhooks, right? He's just that he's a couple of inches shorter by the looks of things, but he, he gets low, gets those underhooks in. And the only reason I know what that is is because I'm a huge UFC fan, but um it gets him off balance really, really uh quickly. Pressure right up the middle and they look at that. To it's just John complete Allen. dominance. He used that little Reggie White hump move and he just walks green back into the lap of Davis Mills. For the whale man, every day is Wednesday. The best player on their defense. Somebody that can really be a game wrecker. We know how competitive this league is. And for the best of the best to think that you're one of those best, it means more than anything. He is, he's interesting. Very interesting. Like I said, speaks well. Well, speaks, speaks well, uh, you know, in the interview setting, but also speaks really well as far as hyping up his team prior to the game and just plays snap after snap after snap really consistently with with maximum effort you know he takes it personal is what he said but what we're going to do now is finish off the video by placing him in a rugby team if he was to take off the pads and the helmet and play rugby i'm going to say he would be the perfect prop you get two jonathan allens either side of the hooker right that's the front row of the scrum you got eight players in each scrum uh, at set pieces at certain times these scrums go up against each other and it's just brute force against brute force and i mean we saw it in spades right the ability to just use the the angle of 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 his body get low and drive you know whether it's in a scrum or whether it's just driving through rucks that ability that you know athletic ability that size weight and strength would fit really really well in the position of prop Number one, number three, depends on whether you're uh, comfortable with having your head squashed between two others or whether it, whether you'd like it to, to be on the outside. I guess the only drawback with playing prop and playing hooker and playing a, f a position in the forwards is uh, you get a lot of friction on the ears and that's where cauliflower ears come from. So that's one thing that you know American footballers have on their side is the fact that they can protect their ears and so... You know, he'd have to get used to that. Or there are ways and means. They, there are scrum caps, headgears they call them, or you can put tape around your ears. And so for anyone who's seen rugby players with like a, a band of tape around their ears, I think the main benefit of doing that is keeping their ears sort of pinned back, which reduces the risk of getting um, cauliflower ear. So thanks for watching, guys. Jonathan Allen, what an absolute beast. Doesn't play for my team, but I'll, uh, I'll be looking out for him. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.